Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about how to build information security program for an organization. Okay, from 0 to 100 or from scratch. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. Okay, and if you're new to, new to the channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. Okay, so it is always a challenge, Prab. You know, even I was searching for some blogs and all that to understand how to implement information security in the organization. Okay, from scratch. So how to do that? So I'm assuming you are an information security consultant and you join one company as an information security officer or information security consultant. And the company has given you tasks that to implement the information security in the organization. So what is the first step? The first step is schedule the meetings. Okay. You are not going to run behind, okay, how to protect and all that. No, first of all, understand what is the business. How, uh, how the revenue is basically generate. Okay, what kind of a revenues we have? Okay, what are the business process we have? Okay, how many business process we have? Okay, how many business stakeholders we have? Then review the vision and mission of the organization. What is the importance? Are they focusing on the customer satisfaction? For them, privacy is a top priority. Information security is a top priority. Understand the vision and mission of an organization. Okay, and if you basically join some established company where they already have an information security in place, then my suggestion is that try to understand their last uh, audit reports. Okay, that give you visibility about what is the information security structure status they have. Okay, understand about what is the expectation from information security from the business stakeholders and all that. So from this particular thing, you get the understanding about the organization. I'm not saying you're doing some implementation here. We just in a phase of learning. Okay, dumping all the information. That is basically our agenda here, okay? So that is basically called as a first stage, okay? Then you try to identify what are the legal and regulatory requirement we have for the business. Example, in India, if I'm into the NBFC and all that, I need to be comply with the RBI guidelines in the insurance IRDA. If I go to US, then HIPAA guideline, SOX guideline, okay? Now, and then if I'm working in the Europe, for Europe form, I need to understand GDPR requirement. So then second important thing, understand what is the legal regulatory requirement? What is their demand? What is their need? Okay, so on one side, you identify all the business requirement. And now on the other side, you identify the legal regulatory requirement. Okay, what they have and what is the expectation of the regulatory because that something is mandatory okay so after this after this things okay I will basically build not build I will adopt one framework you can go for any framework NIST CISF best framework or you can refer 27001 as a standard Corbett as a framework so reason for adopting a framework, at least that give you a good starting point, okay? Because it's already established and well tried, tested in the market. I will adopt the framework. From that, I will pick all the controls. First of all, I will give time to myself. Okay, this is the business requirement. Okay, this is the best practice I need for this business requirement like protections, PI protections and all that. And on the side, I will check what is the legal regulatory requirement say, okay, you must be PCA DSS comply, 27,000 and all that. So from business requirement point of view, I will dump some controls. From the regulatory requirement, I will dump some controls. And then I will build my own custom framework. Okay, so this is something we need for the company. Can we start implementing those controls? Definitely no. Now I will do the gap assessment. Okay, in ISO we called as a SOA statement of applicability. I repeat again, the framework which I build, it is based on the understanding of a business, requirement of the business, best practice, what is required in the business, best practice from information security point of view, and what is mentioned in the legal regulatory requirement. Based on that, I dump all the controls. I build my own framework, which is called ABC Private Limited or Aspirants Private Limited Framework. Now I'm going to check, okay, based on those control, I will prepare the questionnaire. 
and I will pass those questionnaires to my existing security team, assurance team, audit team, and the business stakeholders teams. And I'm not going to share the common questionnaire. I know these questions can be answered by these people. I know this question will be going to answer by these people and I'm sure this question will be answered by these people. So I will basically share the questionnaires and collect the informations. From there, I got a visibility about the absence and presence of controls. So now we are in a stage where we got the visibility what they have and what they don't have, including the policies, okay? This is the one scenario. Second scenario is they, they don't have anything. We have to start from zero, scratch. So in that case, I will pick framework, okay? And to improvise that, I will pick a standard also, like 27,001 standard I will use. Because legal regulatory say that you need to comply with 27001. So it's better start with the standard. Now in standard, the 5.1 or other clause say that you need to have an information security policy. So I will tell them, okay, as for the 27001, these, 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 these controls we have. And these are the list of things we need to implement. Okay, just from a visibility point of view, we need everything in Excel. So by this way, we have a visibility what controls we have implemented and what controls we supposed to implement. Okay. So I'm talking about both scenarios, okay? Standard or framework you can use to starting the point where you can check the absence and presence, what we need and what we need to ignore. Or the second is basically you already part of an organization which already have a information security. As per them, they are best, but now we need to evaluate is it best or not, okay? So that is why we having a questionnaires by which we get the maturity effectiveness of the organization, which is also called as a maturity framework assessment. Maturity of the information security. So based on the gap assessment, what they have and what they need to achieve, which is the current and desired state, I will start implementing the controls. I will directly start implementing controls. Definitely no. I have to do the risk assessment on those control gaps. Okay, if this control is missing, what is the impact? Where I will identify the assets, identify the value of assets. And according to that, I'm going to implement the controls. And the control demand are security structures control demand some people, control demand some policies. Then based on those control functions and all that, I will prepare a complete charter. The charter is basically called as an information security program. Why every day everyone is coming, what is your role, what is information security and all that. So we will document in a charter. So no one, who, whoever basically joining in the information security, whoever basically joining in the company and all that, they need to have a visibility what is information security and what they do. So all those information is going to be dumped in the information security program, which is called as a charter. And then based on an information security program, we're going to build a SOPs for each and every area. Like charter say incident management should be there, incident management work like this, as per the clause, incident management should be there. So based on that, we prepare the incident management SOP. Okay, we need application security. Based on application security, we need application security procedure. So we prepare the SOP. Then on the operation level, we start implementing those procedures in the organization. Now, is it working effectively? We will basically introduce the metrics. Metrics is basically the way to check the control effectiveness. One example I can give you, is my incident management working effectively? So I set the KPI, key performance indicators. Key performance indicator mean the time frame in which we respond to the incidents. So we have agreed with the customer on the SLA that in two days, we close the ticket. So we said the KPI is one day. We will check how many, sir, how many incident we able to close in a one day. Okay, how many close in half day? How many close in one hour? So this is how we can able to measure. Okay, the current demand is that all the tickets need to be closed in two day. The current demand and what we're doing actually? Okay, we are only closing 50% uh, of the things in a one day or two day. So we identify the gap. So this is how we're trying to improve my incident management procedures of the information security. Okay, vulnerability testings, VAPT requirements, we have to do quarterly. What we have discovered, we are not doing quarterly. So by the KPI and by the KRI, we're trying to measure the effectiveness. Then as a CISO, I have to schedule the meetings. Okay, prepare this reports, get it this reports done from my manager and submit this reports to my senior management. I will, I will get it done this from my manager who reports to me and then based on that, I will prepare my risk reports and present to the management. Okay, so this is how on a high level information security program works in the organization. So summary is that first, 
understand the business requirement, understand the legal regulatory requirement, what they have and what they need. Then create your own frameworks to understand these are the possible controls we need to improve the cybersecurity or information security of an organization. Make sure we should have all these and what we need to achieve if, we, if it is not there. We do the gap assessment by sharing our questionnaires, getting the response. And by this way, we get a visibility about the effectiveness. Once you're done with this, once you're done with this, based on that, you get a visibility, what controls we need to implement. So based on those gaps, we'll start doing a risk assessment on the unavailability of a control. And according to that, we basically implement those controls. Make sure we organize all these controls, details, descriptions in the information security program. Because information security program is basically the charter for the organization in which we explain about how the information security works in the company. And then from the program, we take out the items and make a SOPs for each and every process. And that is on the operation level, we basically follow the process, procedures of SOPs, and by which we implement the information security in the organization on the ground level. Make sure the SOP is meeting my program requirement. Make sure SOP is meeting my strategic requirement. We introduce the KP and KRI to measure the effectiveness. And this is how you can able to evaluate the security of an organization. And this is how the information security works in the organization. If you find this video useful, do share your suggestion in a comment box. Okay. And if you want more videos on this kind of a things to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. Thank you. Goodbye.